A while back, I posted a video entitled Bully Voice Actors in Manhunt. Well, today I thought I'd upload a very juicy follow-up to that video. A video I think a lot of you are really gonna enjoy. By doing a bit of digging into IMDB and various other sites, I discovered that three bully voice actors actually made appearances in Red Dead Redemption 2. Believe it or not, it's actually really common for Rockstar Games to reuse previous voice actors in newer titles, so this came as no surprise to me. Now before I get into it, I should mention that this video does contain some Red Dead Redemption 2 story spoilers. Two out of three of these characters make appearances in the main story, so it is basically impossible for me to talk about them without spoiling anything. Having that said, you have been warned. Anyway, without any further ado, let's have a look at three bully voice actors who provided voice acting for Red Dead Redemption 2. Enjoy! Number 1. Michael Cullen Michael Cullen is a New York City-based actor who has made many appearances on television, film, and in video games, including Albert Cakes in Red Dead Redemption 2 and the stepfather of the main protagonist, Jimmy Hopkins, in Bully. Speak to your mother, James. What? Who are you? Mom, I thought you told me never to talk to strangers. Like I said before, Jimmy, please be nice to your new stepfather. Fine. Okay, rich guy. I love it that you're twice as old as my grandfather and you're fat and bald. Uh. That's enough! I've had it with you, you little brat. All I want is a little peace and quiet with my new husband and you insult him! Now look what you've done. You've upset your mother. I've got half a mind to beat you. Half a mind is right. Suddenly he realizes. Although his appearance in Bully is very brief, he plays a good role in establishing the rocky home life of Jimmy Hopkins. He's ill-tempered, rich, selfish, and arrogant. Hmm. So, basically me, but, you know, with money. Finally, here we are, boy, Bullworth Academy. Just the kind of place a sensitive soul like you needs. Have fun, Jimmy. I'll think of you from our cruise ship. <laughs> Whatever. Jimmy's stepfather, whose name remains unknown because why bother fleshing out the character beyond having him appear in one cutscene, is one of the first three people you ever see in the game. In Red Dead Redemption 2, Michael Cullen plays a fairly small role but has significantly more screen time than Jimmy's stepfather did. In Red Dead Redemption 2, he plays the role of Albert Cakes, an absent-minded entrepreneur and salesman of pre-cut houses. Think of it as the IKEA equivalent of buying a house. During the epilogue after the final chapter, Albert sells John Marston a pre-cut house and sets him up with all of the building material he needs. He first makes an appearance in the mission The Toolbox, wherein he sells John a house. Excuse me, sir. You work here? No, I just hang around here for fun. I'm <laughs> joking. How can I help you, friend? Listen, I know this sounds crazy. Some dumb old coot, I know. He's telling me there's these houses you can buy pre-cut. <laughs> Not crazy, friend. The very latest in modern convenience. Convenient and cost-efficient. Which house do you want? Each one is entirely unique, but also the same. Excuse me? Perhaps I'm going too fast, sir. Do you want to buy a house? I think so. I'll give you a luxurious, entirely unique pre-cut palace. And if you order today, I guarantee you're home in a matter of weeks, maybe sooner. I'll take that one. Ah, uh -huh, yes, we have that one in stock. And I already got credit from the bank. Oh, fantastic. Now, you write your name here, and uh, you sign your name there, and you will be the proud owner of a factory-built home. It's that easy. Pleasure to meet you, Mr. Martin. Albert Cakes, Esquire, at your service. And then he appears in the mission a quick favor for an old friend, wherein he sells John Marston a barn. Fascinating stuff, I know. Still, I think it's kinda cool how the voice of Jimmy's stepfather appears at the end of the game. I don't know if Rockstar expected anybody to notice, but I did. And so have you, now, thanks to me. Yay me. We need a barn. A barn? Of course you do. All them potatoes. We're gonna uh, farm livestock. What's wrong with you? How many Scarface loons you got coming in here buying pre-cut uh, homes? Here, uh, what you think? Uh, have a look. 
Maybe that one. Yeah. We're an excellent choice. We have a couple already cutting in stock. I'll have it sent to you in Blackwater. I'm down at Beecher's Hope. Oh, I'm sorry. Of course, it's my wife, Jerry. You see, she's out. Uh, it, it's great seeing you again, Al. Yeah, it's, and it's you, been a sir. pleasure as always. Great pleasure. Love your work. Of course. Number two, Kevin Cahoon. Kevin Cahoon is an actor and musician from Houston, Texas. Although he has made several appearances in television and film, he has only portrayed two video game characters. The first one being the nerdy and socially awkward Thad Carlson in Bully, and then the douchiest douche of all douchebags in Doucheland, Clay Davis in Red Dead Redemption 2. Heard you pay good prices for horses. Oh, we'll buy more or less anything, Pop. That so? Sure, Pop. I'm Clay Davies. That's my brother Clive. We're twins. Now this voice actor made a significantly bigger appearance in both Bully and Red Dead Redemption 2 than Michael Cullen did, especially in Red Dead Redemption 2. Clay Davis makes an appearance in both single player and in Red Dead Online as a selfish, arrogant horse buyer. Hmm. So, basically me, but, you know, with horses. I'm Clay Davies. This is my brother, Clive. He don't talk. Maybe you two will get along better. <laughs> Maybe not. He's often seen picking on his mute and slower younger brother, that'd be Clive Davis. Now, the thing that's cool about Clay's voice, at least in my opinion, is that you can vaguely hear a bit of Thad in it when he raises his voice. <laughs> it's almost like listening to an older southern version of Thad Carlson speak. Here, have a listen, I'm sure you'll know what I mean. Oh, I do so enjoy these conversations. I'm used to them on account of my brother. Let's go, Clive! Or help, we're trying to get out of here! The speed of light times the speed of a flying spaceship? Impossible! Darn greasers! Always ruining my science experiments! Ain't he funny, Clive? Clive don't talk. We're twins, but I was born first. He came out all yellow and black, but he's okay. Ugh. Something you may have noticed about Clay by now is that he's a bit of a bully. Bully. Coincidence? I think not. Well, actually, yeah, I do. I doubt that Rockstar had any intention on referencing Bully so vaguely. Well, 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 Horley was right about you, dead right. Ain't that dandy? Get that horse hidden away, Clive, and ready to move out as soon as we can. All right. Here's the money you earn. Now listen, Horley came by and gave me a message. He said to go see your friend Cripps up at your camp. Now listen to me for a second. Any other decent horses you find, we'll buy them. Just as soon as we are set up, okay? Nice meeting you. You know what? Hold on, boy. I call him boy because I'm older. 30 minutes, he went black. <laughs> Let's give our friend here back the horse. It's yours. A sign of faith and future business. If you want to buy any extras or sundries for the animal, head inside. They've got a lot available. See you soon. <laughs> Come on, Clive. And number three, Anthony McBain. Anthony McBain is somebody I have a lot of respect for. He has provided a lot of work for Rockstar Games over the years, ranging from character designs, concept art, and even some voice acting on the side. And by the way, when I say that Anthony has provided a lot of work for Rockstar, I mean a lot of work. Anthony McBain has voice acted 10 Rockstar game characters and has made artwork for at least 7 of their games as well. In Bully, Anthony plays the role of Freely, one of the carnies at Billy Crane's traveling carnival. Freely may appear to some as a cocky, laid-back slacker, but his character is way deeper than a lot of people realize. If I keep a low profile, the sheriff will never find me. Nobody would guess that plain old Carney Freely is actually the great gas station bandit. If they find me here, it's a year in solitary for sure. Having a long history of crime and violence behind him, he eventually found himself a job at the carnival, operating and maintaining the main attractions for a living. In Red Dead Redemption 2, he plays the role of an unknown pedestrian who I have yet to find. Anthony was credited as the local pedestrian population, which really doesn't narrow it down that much. And believe me when I say that I looked. I looked for hours and hours on end until I eventually went on IMDB only to find that, uh, Red Dead Redemption 2 has over 500 voice actors credited as the local pedestrian population, so... <laughs> 
good f***ing luck finding Anthony's voice. You know, it kinda sucks that I have to end the video like this, but the odds of me finding his voice in this massive game is incredibly slim. If I do find his voice, then I'll be sure to let you all know, but until then, I think I'm just gonna go back to playing Red Dead Online. Thanks for watching. If you want to learn more about Bully's connections to Red Dead Redemption 2, then I'd recommend checking out my video, Bully Easter Eggs in Red Dead Redemption 2. And hey, if you're a fan of Bully, like me, and you're new to my channel, then why not stick around? I cover Bully more than anybody else on YouTube, so I'm sure you'll enjoy my content. Anyway, that's it for this video, you folks. As always, stay classy. Peace. with you.